Hey there, Adventure Machine subscribers. Back out in the shop. Um, working on the 280Z. I have the fuel rail out. out, And as you can see, these are, these are some special fuel injectors. Just, they're looking pretty, pretty nasty on the outside. Um, probably not much better on the inside considering this engine's been sitting for probably 15 plus years. But positive news is that I managed to get the injector rail out, none of the bolts broke. And I have over here this fuel pump and tank and filter rig. Basically, I got a wall bro sitting right here. It's got a quick disconnect in the bottom of this tank. Draws out of it, goes through the pump, goes through the OEM filter, comes up and goes through the rail, goes through the FPR, fuel pressure regulator, dumps back through that line, and goes back in the tank. And what I've got in my hand right here. Oh, wait, it's a lithium ion battery. It's going to blow up. Oh, just kidding. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll find out. But, I'll set you right here, and you can watch what I'm about to do. So, I'm going to turn the pump on. Start pumping fuel through the rail. So, at this point in time, not leaking. And I'm going to energize this fuel injector with this battery, which is at about 3.7 volts. What should happen is it sprays. It's actually spraying pretty decent. Not too bad. Let's move on to the next one. I took the clip off. So it'll make it, air quotes, make it easier to plug it in. All right. Now that we've got some raw fuel on the engine, let's see if we can create a spark. Well, clearly that connector is a little not really connected. Let's try that. Now that I've got gasoline on my finger, I should create another spark right next to it. Okay, here we go. Let's watch that one. And that actually looks pretty good too. Okay. Let's move down the line. Still see that one? I think at the very least the contacts and the injectors need to be cleaned. They don't like easily make contact. Okay, let's try this one. I can't really see. Let's move it so that it sprays more out in a flat pattern if I can manage that. Let's see. pretty good too although definitely dripping and leaking yeah if you can see that yeah so the number four is leaking 
pattern's not terrible. This next one was initially showing some signs of just leaking without any power applied or anything else. So it was actually, yeah, it's showing a little bit of signs of dripping that's hard to see. Yeah, it's leaking pretty hard. And the pattern's kind of erratic, so it's got some junk in it. Yeah, and it's just peeing out. Try and clear it. And it's just going to sit there and dribble. Not looking too bad. And now number one. What does number one look like? Number one's looking like a pain to get the connector on. That number three really wants to squirt me. It's uh, this is a safe procedure um, that you shouldn't do. I'm demonstrating something that probably isn't all that smart. And number one is not wanting to do much. So its connectors are probably pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try that. Let's see what happens. Sounds pretty good. Looks okay. Yeah, pattern looks good. Okay, well, number three is definitely bad. Number four is questionable at best. They all look like terrible um hey lithium ion battery 3.7 volts didn't blow up don't do this at home well next i gotta take all of those hoses loose well i should probably disconnect the pump um yeah disconnect all of those hoses take those injectors off and I'm going to build myself a injector cleaner rig because I'm not going to replace these, or at least unless I absolutely have to. Um, I can see if I can backflow these guys. I'm going to pop the filters out of them, see if I can get them to um, act better. Just good enough to make this engine run halfway decent. At least that's the plan. Talk to you guys later.